Yes, good evening, good evening to the students of the SLW 600, Karibusana. Welcome to my class. And the last class we could not able to record it because of the various factors. The, the glitch was there, but we dealt it in a better manner. And uh, today we will make a repetition of the last class and we will wind up the today the philosophy of law. And the tomorrow we can start the importance of the legal theory. So just we can go back, we can see that the jurisprudence is basically a theoretical subject. It's a dry subject and it doesn't have the cases and it doesn't have the sections also. It's only the philosophical aspect of uh, making the things, uh, except in certain cases we do have the cases. Otherwise, we, there is no cases. And uh, then we discuss the characteristic of the jurisprudence is uh, given below that what I said Number one bullet point, remove the complexity of law. If any complexity would be there, it is a jurisprudence will give the clear-cut idea how a word should be interpreted and what is the what is the main motto of keeping such a terminology at that time. That also count over there. So remove the complexity of the law. It is one of the factor and where we can use the jurisprudence. And in another factor also that will make it out, answer the new problems. If any new problems will come, how could you answer it? So we have to study the jurisprudence. When you study the jurisprudence, we can know that if a new, a new, new ideas are come out, how it should be tackled. And it is a grammar of law we studied. And jurisprudence is a grammar of law. It throws light on the basic ideas and the fundamental principle of law that is the negligence and liabilities are concerned because in every activity there is a negligence especially in the tort law and that's why we can say that more cases is filed under the negligence because we cannot determine it as either negligence will be the intentional or unintentional doesn't matter but negligence is a negligence and if any person suffered over there and he should be restored back to the original position he should be restored the redress, the injury will be redress. So it's a grammar of law and the training of the mind. The jurisprudence makes how to approach, how to finish and make the problem it to the easy way. But the jurisprudence, it is having the different, different theories and these theories will make it a, a hard thing into an easy thing. So training of a mind, jurisprudence trains the mind to solve the difficult legal provisions in the legal ways and the grasps on the subject. If any subject should be grasped over there, first to read the jurisprudence. And here jurisprudence means origin, nature, concept, science, history of law. So that's why I say jurisprudence, we have to read it so that we could know why such a subject meaning should be given in a such a manner only. And graphs on the subject should be there if you study the jurisprudence and useful in arts of pleading and legislation. When you want to plead it, when you want to argue it and what the a particular word, how it can be used, it also gives the sense in the jurisprudence. Useful and the art of pleading and legislation, it helps the legislators and the lawyers the proper use of the legal terminology. How the legal terminology could be used in a proper way, it uh, gives the sense. It relieves them to the botheration, creation of the defining again the again certain expression like right and duties. How the rights are there, how the duties are there and they uh, need not to make it out because already it is a defined right. If somebody is having the right means another person is having the duty. Suppose if I am having the right over you, I mean, at the time you are having the duty towards me. Yes. Is it clear? Yes. So that is the thing which is, uh, and the interpret the law. It helps the judges and the lawyers uh, setting the true meaning of the law passed by the legislature by providing the rules of your interpretation. It will interpret the law. Like in the last class that we dealt with the example, you are not supposed to lure the customers by standing on the street. That is the, actually the legislation. And these uh, Malayas, uh, Harlot, they are standing in their house balconies and luring the people, those are going on the street and calling the customers for their revenue. So, the state filed a case against them. You are luring the 
from your balcony they say we are not luring luring means attracting we are not luring them from the on the street we are in our own area from there we are doing so the class says over there whether you do from the own area or you do from the on the street the matter is the same you are luring am i right act is the same either you eat with the hand or you eat with the spoon kijiko sir i did not eat with my hand okay either you eat with your hand or the spoon doesn't matter did you eat the food or not suppose if i ask you did you eat the food with your hand i say no but he ate it he ate it what with the kijiko with the kijiko <laughs> It is a matter of the the body. So it is the kijiko you ate it, but you whether you ate it or not. My question is, did you eat the food or not? Answer is, yes sir, no. If I ask you that, did you eat the food your food with your hand? Actually, you did not with the hand. You use the spoon, but the meaning is the same. So that is the only the thing. It is interprets it how it can be make it out. and to study the foreign law how to study the foreign law also the jurisprudence make it it enables the lawyers to study the foreign law because the fundamental principles are generally common to all system of law the fundamental principles are very common in all system of law hence we can do like that uh, to understand other dimensions of society it helps the understanding the other areas of the knowledge and the better manner like the political office political administration and teaching in different different angle that we could understand it and the people say what is that ah you don't know the politics politics is such a very dangerous thing in everywhere there is a politics and hence who said politics is a scoundrel's game who said is it the lenin is it uh, somebody said even my answer falls off forget it politics is a scoundrel's game did you hear any time or not did you hear any time or not why <laughs> you did not uh, a, a real academician will not go into politics are you following me A real academician will not go into politics. He will be doing only the teaching. That's all. No other activity. Because in politics, you have to say many things. Even true to wrong, wrong to true, you have to make it out. Means you have to be diplomatically. You should not deal it. Politics is a scoundrel. Game, who said? Is it Aristotle? Is it somebody? Somebody said, "Scoundrel." They say, "Politics." You know, Samuel Johnson's. No, Samuel Johnson says, "Did I say uh, game of scoundrels?" Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. Samuel Johnson said, "Politics is the game of scoundrels." I don't know whether you know Samuel Johnson. <laughs> He's the greatest lexicographer. Uh, yeah, Samuel Johnson is a a greatest. Let us see that whether I am true or not. So Johnson was known as a staunch uh, Tory. Was uh, taught not to the active within the politics. Political writing were subsequently de disregarded as a neglected. Yes, uh, of course he has given the the definition is there. Politics is a scoundrel's game. So one cannot want to play. Because you a man who wants to fail, he never entered into the politics. That's what I want to say. So now another point is uh, provide more than the practical point of view and uh, practical justification. It provides more than just practical justification of the different things to a person. One gets a con connected in a better manner with the universe and uh, understand the universal law. Thus providing the greater happiness of understanding the universal rule as to people so jurisprudence will play an important role in many sphere of the life of a man either to understand to know it 
to make it our easy ground our grammar interpretation explanation think a new thinking of an idea how to approach it so this all comes under the jurisprudence so contribution to the jurisprudence in the indian judicial decision here some decisions now is based on i told you the one rule is there on the go one is the linear rule gram grammatical rule grammatical rule mischief rule go on grammatical rule golden rule mischief rule purposive rule these are all the different rules in the interpretation of statutes so if a person who comes to the court and the court will not make him to go with the empty hands to him no because he approached to you having your brilliant mind you should give some idea to them and see that some justice should be given to him not only justice to be given it seems to be given to him justice that is the way so a different different theories will be applied by the judges by using their own intelligentsia by using the jurisprudence and they give the a different meaning and that is the very appropriate to the place for instance you take a man should not to use the carrier by drinking with the with the intoxication one should not use the carrier then what is carrier a carrier is one something which carry the people is it correct then bicycle also carrier is it not it also carry something hence they say one should not use the intoxicated drink when you are carrying on the public road that means on bicycle also you are not supposed to drink and go that is the hidden rules also says very good you are not supposed to kill a bird bird you know you mean is a kiswali bird b i r d bird you are looking at me b i r d bird you know birds will on the branches on the wall on the street on the walls same as kiswahili come this side what is meant by bird in kiswahili indege <laughs> you are not supposed to kill the bird that is the law can you kill the horse you are not supposed to even kill the bird that means a small thing you are not supposed to kill how do you kill a a horse which is a carrying the people carrying the luggage and taking them very much useful even the body is not that much useful but body is useful for the environmental protection or flora and fauna and the environmental cycle when you are not supposed to kill a bird you are not supposed to kill a horse <laughs> if your law says you are not supposed to kill the bird the bird definition or the bird idea will be extended to the horse so that is hidden's rules also say mischief rule is say is it clear so that way it will give the different different aspect of it so the research work has been divided into two parts they said one is the positive law school and impact on judicial decisions positive law school says always law is a command it is a state and nobody should have to escape from the law and that is the rule of law is a positive th- theory and the natural law theory also the second is the impact of natural law school on indian judicial decisions is observed how a natural law school should be work over there in the judicial decisions like thomas aquinas natural law there are two schools of thought now either you believe it either natural law or positive or historical law or sociological law I means school or purpose is school any school murder the capital punishment is the murder is it clear but many countries say it is a barbaric punishment and other country says no it is not a barbaric 
if you such a thing would not be there then people will kill the another people like a bird like a ants small ants na jo ants they kill so a fear of the law should be there when they are doing a particular thing and hence tanzania did not abolish the capital punishment even india did not abolish the capital punishment no it should be there even i myself also have the same opinion capital punishment should be there if not people will kill a human being like killing a ants or birds so we can decide the cases depending upon the nature how it can be made of course here the indian uh, case law is given but i give the murder case law that is the capital punishment it is not a barbaric it is not against the provisions of the constitution and we do have the case law also the first case law regarding the capital punishment in tanzania now you have it is a famous case law murder capital punishment yes sir so now the school of thought uses the either the, because it is a positive law is it a positive law come on yes one should have to make it out so a justice would be in conformity with the law we should have to use it but what the people right human rights activities say the human rights activities say the capital punishment is a barbaric one that that is it mean that in your house if any person died you know what is the death of a person am i right the value of a person and who is a breadwinner if he dies over there and everybody should be on the roads so that say the school of thought varies and they make it out so when the school of thought varies even the judges in which school of thought they belong they give the judgment in that manner suppose the malasunya is there the judge malasunya is still alive luka kingira luka kingira is still alive see these people are one is humanistic mind humanitarian mind and he will give the judgment in the humanitarian way but another people they know they don't give rule is rule rule for all okay now the question comes rule is rule rule for all then the gravity of the offense depending upon the gravity of the offense punishment is there is it clear like if you buy if you steal a all pin which is used all pin which is used here if you steal a plane the same punishment will not be there <laughs> this is the equity principle this is again so law is a combination of all the things customary law is there equity law is there even a school natural law is there yeah, even uh, a command theory is there and everything would be there depending upon the nature that we will study it and we will make it out the law so here the one case law is given but i have instead of case law i have given the example to you to understand how we can make it out can you arrest a person with a due process of law you have to show the reason for the arrest reason for the arrest and moreover when your person is arresting you will ask him who are you show your identity show your kitambal issue you cannot arrest a person because my my, my liberty is cut what what offense i committed it you did murder where just in such a place now i am going coming from my home might be seen somebody else so a process should be there then only we can arrest a person and follow the law and law should be not taken into your own hand to see justice will be want to do it no it is not a justice it is nothing but a man handling of the police department so law is different justice is different law is is as per the rules are concerned but justice is 
depend upon the situation is concerned. And this way, display the positive approach taken the deciding cases. So, positive people, positive approach, they say law is there, but uh, the other school of thought says, no, justice should also be considered. So, natural law schools, what they say, is known as the higher law. The natural law, known as the higher law, are the law of the nature which has been continually dominating the entire basis of the politics, law, religion, and social philosophy. A natural law, in one way, in another way, a divine law, to a certain extent. So, a nature is said to be those sets of the unwritten laws which contains the principle of the art to reveal by the nature of a man or a reason of derived from the God. A man or the God. Natural law. So, nature of a man or a reason are derived from the God. So, it is the understanding of the moral law that is either given with a nature and known through the reason or with a moral reason independently nature. So, in the nature law, it is a combination of the God-made law, divine law and the natural principles. The nature says, every human being, I mean, or every living body, every living body should die. Should should uh, taste the death that they say. Every living body should taste the death. Is the universal. When everybody is going to die, then why such a people are after the accumulating the money? So much money that accumulated, so much land accumulated. Can you eat the land? Can you eat the money? You eat only the chakula which is needed for your stomach. And if you eat more, what will happen? What will happen if you eat more indigestion? Is it clear? Sir, we will take soda. Ah, sir, we will take whiskey. That is another remedy to make it out. So here the natural law say when you want to make it the universal common to all humanity, it goes beyond the difference in culture and religion and various formulation of, of moral law. Even, I don't know, do you know Martin King Luther Jr.? See, I conducted an international seminar on that one. Just I got the idea because when I'm staying, yes, do you want to say anything? Shall I continue? Okay. Martin King Luther Day, he made a photo over there. At the time, when you are traveling in a bus, means transport, if a white man comes, the black man should have to get up and give the seat to the white man. That is the law. And Martin King Luther says, no, law is law for everybody, irrespective of the color and skin and anything. Nobody should understand it. He made it such a radical changes, especially for the Africans. He fought for that one. Of course, all the good people, they don't have the natural death. Do you know? They will be killed. <laughs> Assassinated. They will be killed. Because we cannot say that very, there are many people are there. Ah, this fellow is making such a thing, a useless thing, and everybody has right, the same right, and so and so. And that's why they will say that he was killed. When he was just outside, the bullet, somebody has killed him. Of course, that fellow is a, a bit uh, mad. Okay, that is a different issue. So what I want to say is, it is, goes beyond the difference in the culture, religion, and various formulation of the moral law. It is often understood the fundamental source of the norms from which the positively formulated moral norms must be derived from the more morally justifiable. So morality and justice would be there in the natural law. Of course, here they have given you a case law, but I can give the case law in a different manner. Do you have the passport? How many types of the passport? Local passport or international passport? Is it local passport is different than international passport? Do you have? Yeah. Means 
East African community, one a letter is enough. And for going to other country, you need the passport. Yeah, in India, there is no such a thing. Only one passport is there to travel anywhere in the world. So now, suppose if any, if any person has committed any crime, let you presume it. If the highest crime is there, they will impound the passport. Impound the passport, do you know what it means? Seize the passport. The immigration authority, passport authority, they will seize your passport because you want to fly. But when you are seizing it, there is a procedure should be followed. You cannot seize the passport. Suppose if a mouse has stolen somebody else, but he made the allegation on me that I stole the mouse. Can he seize my passport? Answer no. What did the mouse cost? <laughs> so here they say, if you want to seize the passport, there would be certain procedure would be there. And with that procedure, you can seize it. And then only, otherwise, it is not a proper way to seize the passport. It is a just, it is not a just and fair. If you suppose if you have stolen a glass of water, for because you are you are uh, you are uh, thirsty. When you are thirsty, can you chop his hand? Answer no. Because proportionate use of the force you are to, supposed to read, it should be fair enough, your punishment should be fair enough to give it. So that they say, if you want to make it, anything should be done, it should be just fair and reasonable. It is based on the moral nature. That is uh, morality based on the nature also. Both the way. It can be made. So here they said, uh, if one analyzes the judgment on one would find reference of the locus theory where the natural right of a man, such a right to life, right to life is everybody is having, right to life and life to liberty and uh, property, remain with him and there should not be any law contravening the above rights. Though the above rights cannot be contravened, any law. What is life, liberty and property? These are the things. So here they say the natural law theory principle could be evolved. A new natural law principle will be evolved depending on the nature of the cases. So, the researchers have used the doctrinal method of research and used both the primary sources and the secondary sources for this research. I don't know whether you know it or not because you are going to write a thesis in the second year. I mean, the second, second year for last semester, you have to write the dissertations. So, there is the primary sources are there, secondary sources are there. Primary sources are means latest informations. Like getting the latest information from the sources in the form of interview, questionnaire, a latest information that you will get it, or a latest information you will get it in the journals also, is called the primary sources. Either you do yourself research and go to the place and get the latest first-hand information is the primary source. Second-hand information is in the form of a book. It is a second-hand information. On the tertiary also there, tertiary sources, I don't know whether you know it or not. Najwa? Tertiary means third. Third source is all digest will be binded. Quinquennial digest will say. Five years one binding would be there. That is, and even in the you know, Britannica. Najwa? Britannica. There is two are there. One is American, another is Brit British. It is the 30 volumes. So they are compared, the uh, entire the, the story of a particular thing is concerned. Encyclopedia, we will say. Encyclopedia Americana, Encyclopedia Briti, Briti, Britana, no, Americana, will say, is there, Encyclopedia British, Encyclopedia of British, or British Encyclopedia, or we can say like this. So that is their tertiary sources. And here the article when he wrote it, no, observation methods are very important factor. When you go for the thing, observation method, and you will observe it, and that is the philosophy and law, how it would be 
and high utility and they contributed immensely to the Indian judicial system or any judicial system. Because I told you the jurisprudence is a cross, cross boundary course. Two into two, four, anywhere in the world it is a four. But land law is not like that. Taxation is not like that. It will vary. Law of the land. But other principles are common. So, in the conclusion, what I will say here is given is that jurisprudence can be defined as the study of law, philosophy of law, knowledge of law, mother of law. So, all these things and the roots of the law, the bark of the law, and the stems of the law, kilakitu. So, it is a type of the science that uh, explores the creation, creation and application. And enforcement of laws. It may create it, it can be apply it, it can enforce it. The jurisprudence is the study of theories and philosophies regarding the law. So it is nothing but the philosophy, what the philosophy says, and what the theories says. Different theories are there, different philosophies are there about the law. And it has a different definition of the civil law, that is the codified laws, and common law, that is the judgment laws of country. If I ask you anyone, what is life? Give me the answer of your own. What is life? Yes. What is the purpose of life? Okay, tell me. Sir, we don't know. My Our father knows. What father knows? Father has given the birth to you. It is a seed made it to you. Mother has germinated it. Life is, people say, life is a test ground to you to test whether you will be successful for the next hell or heaven or not. Is there a test ground? This is somebody's definition. And somebody says, life, enjoy it and die. Is it life is what to, only to enjoy? Life is do a good thing. At least make them happy to the others. Even though you are not happy. Happy to the others. That is the purpose of life. So each one give the definition of your life in different way. Am I right? In the same manner, law also like that. Sir, why should I do study law, sir? Why should I do the PhD, sir? And one day we will die. Yes, everybody knows that. <laughs> then why do you study? To have a better life. To make others better. That is the purpose of life. It is not the earning the income. Even there are many people are there, those who lived such a beautiful lives. But did they carry all the things into their the kaburi? Answer no. So philosophical theories and theories are there. Philosophy is there, theories are there and that is the jurisprudence. We study it. And also they say a different definition of the civil law is there, common law is there. Evolution of the jurisprudence can be traced back to the philosophical speculation of the Greeks and legal administrative practices and Romans. We go to the philosophy. Sir, how a man has come out? People say it came out from the monkeys. Am I right? But the, where the life started first? Life started in the water. It started from the water. From water, the thing changed, changed, changed. And uh, monkeys to the tail is gone. Then he can become, he can become a human being now. And he can challenge the God now. If you believe in the God. Are you following me? Yes. So, with our half knowledge, with a quarter knowledge, with our 0 0.00 knowledge, we cannot challenge the God. So, here what I want to say is there, the evolution, how it may come over there, and uh, how the life has emerged, how the law is emerged, from the civilization, Greek, Greek civilization to Roman civilization and their theory of the natural law, the law is based on divine revolution, did not seem to be accord with the 
contemporary reality of the life. So all these points have come in the jurisprudence and here it is clear, clearly, jurisprudence has a great utility in different dimensions of life, whereby one hand it makes the person sufficient to use the mind to solve the legal problems easily. It also acts as a grammar of law and jurisprudence has all greatly contributed to the Indian judicial pronouncements. Why Indian everywhere judicial pronouncements where the preference judges so different law schools be noticed. To summarize the topic, I said, the law is the body of the official rules and regulations generally found in continuation in the form of legislation, judicial opinions and the like that is used to govern the society. Law is a bundle of rules to govern the society. How? In the form of legislation, in the form of judicial decisions, by any other means. And philosophy examines the relationship between the humanity and nature and the between the individual and the society and jurisprudence is the easy, the study is there. Hence, it, it can be very well be said that jurisprudence is the philosophy about the study of law. Man to man, man to society, humanity to man, state to humanity. Are you following me? So these are the relations that you will study in the jurisprudence. And uh, that, that is the individuals to individuals, individuals to the society and humanity and nature. I will ask you a small question then I will wind it up because at any time it is going to be over also the time. Of course still the time is there as for the 529 now. Yeah, still the time is there. A man and a woman should be equal. Ready? There should not be any disparity in the gender. Do you think really there is a disparity or no disparity? There is a disparity in the constitution of a man, man and woman only. In the body itself. How could you make it equalize? Where the God has given you the disparity is there. Can the woman will do all the work a man can do? Even though she is a very powerful. Certain functions a woman cannot do. Only man can do. Are you following me? But how could you equate it? And these women people said, no, equal right should be given to. Because equality before law and equal protection of law. Okay. They went a representation to God. Sir, when you want to BBC, that you are BBC. Body to body contact means sex. Sir, both are enjoy. But when you are giving the delivery, why a woman should suffer? Why not man? Anyone? Online people, Pata, did you understand what I asked you? Say yes or no. Are you there? Online people. Yes. 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 Man and woman are equal. Yes. Sir. When they are enjoying the sex, both will enjoy it. But when the delivery comes, only woman suffers labor. Why not the man should suffer? Then God told, a woman consumes and hence she will have to undergo the pain. No, no, no. Both should undergo the pain. And God told them, see, be careful. I know what to do and what not to do. Don't equate, equate with your small brain. And second time representation go, no, 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 no. We want that equal, equal, 50%. With the enjoy the 50% uh, enjoyment and sex, 50% the delivery the, the husband should have to do. Second time they made it. God told you, see, I told you, no, I know what to do and what not to do. And third time they made the representation. Then God told you, see, I am making the representation to you. I am, I, I am allowing you, but you will repent it. Again, you will come to me. You will repent it. Again, you will come to me. I say, I'm not sure. Yes, somebody is speaking. Somebody is speaking. Mute. Mute. And... Uh, 
third time is early. See, <laughs> I am giving you such a thing, but mute when you don't speak. You are mute. I am getting the sound. I am getting the sound. I can mute on. I can also command it mute on from here. Yes. And the third time they went say, say I am giving the allowing the, this your desire, but definitely you repent it and you will come to me. Okay. They said, ah, <laughs> we succeeded. When the delivery comes, nusu nusu. A woman is fear nusu and the man should have to feel the nusu. Then one day it is happened. Okay, it's going on well. A husband, it, another, there is a crying and a woman in this side is crying. So the people are very much fond of it and very much happy. So 15 days passed, then 16 days, 17 days came. And a woman is suffering, husband is not suffering. But Jirani is suffering. Who is suffering? Who is suffering? Woman is suffering. But the husband is not suffering the delivery. But a neighbor is suffering. Did you understand? Yes. The seed is of not the husband. The seed is of the neighbor. Is it clear? And they say, there is a who and cry. Husband is very much bewildered because the nature says that your husband should have to get the pain, but I am not getting the pain, and my Jirani is getting the pain. What is the matatizo? Not the matatizo, no. She is conceived by the Jirani, a neighbor. That is only the thing. Otherwise, it will not happen in that way. So the God said, I told you already that. I don't want to make you disappoint because I know what to do and what not to do. But still, you want to make it that it should be done. Then after some time later, all the women gathered. Because the city came out that the fellow who conceived, no, it is of Jirani, not of the husband. So it is a human cry would be there. Then they made, no, 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 this is very much wrong. Let the city, city would be. And they again approached to the God. God said, I told you already. With your minimum mind, you cannot judge me. And you judge it. And now you are repenting it. No, no, sir, and it is our mistake. Please forgive us. Please forgive us. Let the woman will suffer. Let woman will suffer. A secret will be a secret. Other the life become miserable. I don't know whether here online people could not. Did you get my point? I don't know whether you got my point or not. No, why I am giving this example is we cannot define anything in a perfect manner. Certain things we cannot cannot say. And uh, certain things we, we should not think also. Sir, how the day is going, how the night is coming. Yes, it's a natural principle is there. If you understand it, yes, the earth rotates and hence it comes. How it, it rotates, sir? And how it would be in the hanging in the in the sky? We don't know. It's the it's the nature. It is a it's the nature. It is circulated. If the solar system is there. Solar is there. Moon is there. And other other uh, other bodies are there. They will have their own system and they will stand on their own stay. If once it is balanced out, then everything will be collapsed. So. We should think to a certain extent only, but not the other things. And moreover, with our knowledge, of little knowledge, we cannot define it. We cannot make it. Like groping in the darkness. You know groping? If the darkness is there, totally. Amna, ta. And there is a elephant is there. So a person comes from the back. He touches the elephant. Oh, elephant is having a small tail. He defines. Elephant is having a small tail. And another person touches the imbele. Imbele, trunk. And he says, yes, elephant is having a trunk. Another says the tuskers. Yes, elephant also is having the tusker. Means, who, how he pursued and he defined it. Is it clear? 
because he touched it and he pursued it. And hence he defined like that. But nobody touched the whole body of the elephant because they came from the one angle they touched it. Am I right? A person who go from the chini, he could not touch anything. Of course, no one is a imbili kimo. Yes, do you want to ask anything? You please ask me. You pardon. Yes. Pardon on your example. Yeah, that example, uh, still you need uh, the time to understand it. With our little knowledge, with our little thinking, we cannot define the things. That is the whole gist of it, man. Everybody define the law. Everybody define in a different angle, in the different perspective. But everybody is right. Mute. Yes, after asking, you can mute it. So, first you should understand my language, my accent. Once you understand my accent, you know what I'm teaching. Is it clear? The functions of the field. Yes. <laughs> She's giving the same. I'm teaching the legal, advanced legal theory. <laughs> yes, I'm teaching the subject, not advanced legal theory. But what I taught today, can you tell me? How much you understood, can you tell me? Today, what I taught, no? I gave the various angles of the jurisprudence. <laughs> Mute. And in addition to that, I gave you the two schools. One is a positive, another is a natural law. In positive schools, they say command. Only five minutes are left. It is the command would be there in the positive schools. But the natural schools is the divine is there, morality is there. And both of them true in their own sense. And each school there is a followers. In each school there is a followers. And they will follow it. And they will give the definition in their own angle. And they say law is theories of law, philosophies of law, and decision will be given based upon their brought up, based upon their thinking, based upon their attitude. If a capitalistic man is there, he give a cut his own aristocratic manner. If he's a man of a socialism is there, who came from the scrap, and he tries to protect the a downtrodden people, and they will make it out in that way. Because a man is a mixture of everything. And hence, each one give their own definition of a thing. So today class, we did nothing but we dealt that part of it. And tomorrow class, we'll say, what is the importance of the legal theory? Legal theory importance is nothing but each one says something about him, historical school, then positive school, then natural law schools, then purposive theory school. They do give their own things and they will make it out. But everything is right because in one way, in another way, we use the theory to give the justice. And that is the reason we have to study the different theories and different schools. So depending upon the schools, we can give the judgment. Because a person who comes to the court should not go with the empty hand. He should be given the relief. Otherwise, what is the jurisprudence? What is the law? If you don't give the relief, there is no meaning. You should have to give the, some relief. Some sort of a solace. Kufutusha. Kufutusha. Katusha. Solace. Kufuturu, a solace, that is a must. And that is the reason the court will apply the different different theories, different different schools, and they will decide the cases. 
So this is all today's class. So I told you, you no, know, it's a philosophical one. It's not like A has given offer, the B, B has given the acceptance, there is a consideration and so and so, there is a case law. There is no such a thing here. It is a philosophy, it is a theory, it is a venture and all those things. Now the question comes to be there. Why our jaw, chini jaw, will move? Why not the upper jaw move? And some of them, upper jaw move, lower jaw will be constant. Jurisprudence, think it. Why the lower jaw moves, upper jaw constant? Why not upper jaw moves and lower jaw constant? There is a scientific reason is there. <laughs> for human beings, a different phenomena. And for the birds, I don't know, parrot. Did you see the parrot? If you see the parrot, upper upper moves. Please note the point. Or you check it whether I am right or wrong. See the eagles, whether upper moves or lower moves. Eagle, eagle. Whether the upper moves or lower moves. Because it depends upon the eating habit. And that is the reason our 16 plus 16 is 32 having different type of the teeth are there. Molar, premolar, canine. Canine means like a Simba. Canine. And here, incisors. Incisors. See, so a man can eat flesh. A man can eat vegetables. Are you following me? But a lion cannot eat the vegetable. Because it's the canine teeth. Tanzania 
Asante sana na sikiliza mimi darasa online. Mungu akubariki na kukulinda.